Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding Stockport. We're on the profile page of Jack Payne today. Obviously, there's been no games off camera because we're jumping straight into a double header of matches against Salford. Uh, the fourth, the third and fourth games of the season against Salford. So there's that. Just notice that Jack Payne is only nine stone one. He is a tiny, tiny man. Uh, he's got a hell of a long throw on him, though. So far this year, though, six goals, four assists. Pretty damn good for a guy in the midfield. Uh, he's certainly up there with Moody and Magoma. Those three in a rotation have done a bloody good job this year. Just having that extra option of someone like Moody, I think has really helped us out and stopped us from really getting any serious injuries. Although he did have that stupid red card that he got and he missed three matches because of that, I think, in the end. So I thought since we've not got any off-camera games, we can quickly take a look at things like the dressing room atmosphere, the hierarchies, and see how things are going on that one. Lots of highly influential players now. Palmer, Kebby, Guttridge, weirdly Guttridge, despite not playing a single game. Uh, Duxbury, Turnbull still up there, but I suppose he is vice-captain. Or is he captain? Uh, I actually don't know. He's actually the captain. Might have to change for next year. Payne down there is influential. I'd like to see some of the new boys getting up on that one as well. Social groups, still just Jason Banton out on his own. Like someone said, who needs mates when you've got your own company? Um, at the moment, if he carries on playing like this, he's going to need to start his own company because he won't be working as a footballer. I think we've done a decent job in terms of competition so far this year. We are expected to reach the second round of this. We've gone above and beyond of that one. A bit poor on the old FA Cup situation and avoid relegation. 100%. I mean, that is insane. We, we are looking very good to get promoted this year. It's undeniable. I, I can't even... And now the window cleaners here. Brilliant. This is going to be well orcs. Right, so where was I? Uh, right, yeah, so there's been a bit of talk about the, the length of the videos. And I, I kind of just wanted to quickly address this since I had a minute. Essentially, the reason I do the videos at the length that I am is because I, I want to make sure that... They're not so long that it's easy to get lost in the series to the point where you can't keep up with it. Because I, I feel like if I did videos that were 25 minutes to a half an hour long, people would lose interest because they wouldn't be able to keep up with me doing daily videos. When I was doing two or three times a week, that was fine because there was enough content there. But when it's daily, uh, I think that this is a good length, basically. Sometimes they'll stretch a little bit towards the 17 or 18 minutes, but I just don't want them to be too long. Because if I made them longer, I wouldn't just leave stuff in. I'd put more stuff in, which would then be edited in the same way. And that then takes a very long time. And it's already quite a lot of time that takes up to make these videos on a daily basis so that that's basically what it is and of course at the end of the season i go mental with our uh, analysis videos anyway so there's that right let's just without further ado let's get into the game against salford this is huge um it'd be really nice that, ooh, there's some games on in the oh dulwich are playing harrogate today that's really big and barnet are away at hartlepool tell you what those are some difficult games it's a shame we can't keep an eye on them really filed versus billa ricky is the other one obviously there's players away on international duty which does not help us nobody's really super fit uh, for this game, but we kind of... Is Bridges... But Nope. No, he's not. So, Kevy suspended. Bridges still on international duty. Pain in the bottom. We're going to have to go with this lineup, really, aren't we? Uh, this is as simple as that. It's not ideal, but it'll do. You might wonder why some players aren't appearing here as well. I've said it so that if they're not available, they just simply don't appear. Uh, I think that's probably for the best. Uh, Niall Bell. Oh, it's because he's under 23s, I think. Um, So, is that the bench we want? Uh, I think it kind of is, really. Mantak, Cope, Danaher... Moody Moo. Ooh, I might get Banton on instead of Danaher. I just don't think Danaher's going to get onto the pitch, really. I just don't trust him anymore. I don't know why I brought him back in. I think I just felt like he was going to do something good and then he just didn't. Um, My mistake, but we learn, them. We learn from these things. Obviously, we're going to go after Big Mana. I swear they play a different system every time we play them. It feels like this wasn't the system they played last time. I don't know, but we'll see. Let's just go for it. Either way, they're underachieving in the league and are struggling to even qualify for the playoffs at this point, uh, which is very bad for them when you look at the amount of money they've spent on their team. Some of these players were like two, three grand a week. I actually don't know how this works, whether there is a way goals or not. Um, now, I am actually recording this directly after the last episodes that you've seen. I just took my jumper off because it's really hot in here. I also felt maybe I could fool them and think we were in the 80s or something. And maybe they'd, I don't know, return into fetuses? I, I don't know. It's a weird tactic, I'll give you that. Right, let's have this. A couple of games in the cup to just try. You know, we've got a week in between, which means we will have a fully rested squad. And we'll have Kebby and, uh, what's his name? Bruno Bridges back for the second leg at least. So, but that is the away leg. And we've not actually beaten Salford so far this season. That's one of the few teams. Them and Sully Hall Moors. I think the only two teams we've not beaten. And already Hinchcliffe calling to action. He, he does such a good job for us. He really does. And why for Claxton again getting forward. Good ball in again. Stevenson Magoma. Anthony Magoma. My God. Um, an early melee there should have resulted in us being in front probably. But we didn't take our chance. This reminds me so much of that game we played against them earlier this season where we dominated the opening sort of 10-15 minutes and then just got battered uh, for the remainder of the match. Lang, look at the amount of the ball that we've got. 66% possession. Again, very similar to the game against them earlier this year. It's just a question of what we do with it. We might have to go on to attacking to try and utilise it. Um, I think Anthony and Stevenson are going to be super important in today's game though. Finding little spaces, just making the most of these chances. And that's poor. Oh, he's pushed, punched it away. Magoma! Saved by the goalkeeper. Gotta take these chances. 
Yep, that's it. I've had enough. We're going for it. We're going to try and get the win in the home leg and actually put one over on Stafford this year. Bigiri Malas ball in and over the bar. This is going end to end. This is going to be a fun tie. Uh-oh. Bigiri Malas ball. He's got great delivery as well. And off the bar. Cleared. Di Mayo clears it. And it probably could have been 1-0 to Salford there, frankly. Maybe we'll get another Ashley Palmer clanger of an own goal. Look at the space for Darren Stevenson. One touch. Can he finish? He, he doesn't. He's hit the post and it's saved by the goalkeeper. This has gone end to end. Ball downfield. Cut out by Ashley Palmer. It's going to come back and he's not in position at all here. And he's been caught out, Ashley Palmer. And what a save from Hinchcliffe. Mental. What a strange first half. Probably the better side, but Salford created a lot of chances themselves. How this is nil-nil, I will never know. Hinchcliffe, definitely the best player on the pitch for us. It was one of the most entertaining nil-nil first halves we've had for a long, long time. Um, hopefully the second half doesn't end nil-nil and we can actually get a goal or two and make this dominance count while we've got it because I think the away leg is going to be very, very difficult. Back out for Duxbury. Lots of space in the midfield for Magoma and Stevenson. Anthony's making that run, you know. There he is. He's in. Can he score? No, saved by Piers. Oh my God. God, you know that ball's going out there. Oh, no. Okay. Uh-oh. Lang, don't let him get the cross in. Palmer does well. Comes across the Seagull. Good block again. Magoma's been fine, but he is looking knackered. And maybe Moody Moo just has a slightly different option because he does do stuff slightly differently. Moody Moo will actually get into the box from things. Magoma tends to sit back and try to play more like a playmaker. And I think also maybe Jake Cobon for Jaden Anthony. Um, Payne's ball in. Stevenson oh, flicks it away. Everybody keeping your positions here. We're not done yet. Magoma. And, oh, he's hit the crossbar. What a chance. Well, what a chance. That would have been one hell of a goal. You know what, Jason? Last 10. Show me what you can do, buddy. You score us the winner here, and maybe we'll have to consider putting you back in the team. But I don't know. I'm not convinced that he's going to do anything amazing for us. Cope out on the right. Does well to go past his man. Can he find a cross? He does. It's Jason Banton. And he's missed it. Jason. Ah, oh, the chance was there. That was a really good opportunity. Oh, that's a bit short. Here we go. Thompson Brissett again. Cope. Banton creeping to the back post again. Ball across and pairs with the save. Claxton. God, I wish we had Kebby or Bridges. Payne. Banton's at the back post. Can he find a cross? He needs to. Ball across. Thompson Brissett. Yes. Stockport one. Salford nil. St hey, uh, credit where credit's due. Jason Banton hung around long enough and got himself the assist there. Maybe that fresh legs just helped a little bit. He receives the ball out wide. Nobody's marking him. Good touch. Good ball across. And Thompson Brissett makes the run on the volley. 1-0 to Stockport with five minutes to go. Right. That could really set us up nicely for the second leg. Do we go back to positive or do we just keep what we're doing? Just notice that John Lewis has scored for uh, Billericay. So, yeah, his name is a shop. I think, you know, if we win this, which we look like we're about to, a 1-0 win at home, maybe we could have had more goals, but then they could have had chances too. Moody Moo, and it's headed into the, goal, the arms of the goalkeeper. Looks like it's going to be a 1-0 win for Stockport, but that gives us a good chance in that second leg. We'd only need to get a draw like we did earlier this... No, we lost there, didn't we? That's It gives us a chance. We're 90 minutes away from a final now, and Jaden thompson Brissett's goal, with Jason Banton's assist, credit where credit's due, has given us a shot. Right, let's get to the second game. Right then, we're back. Second leg time. Now, quickly, before that, some league stuff to talk about. Because now the, turn, the tables have turned and we now have a game in hand on everyone else. And you might be wondering how we're still two points clear. Well, I'll tell you. So, Barnet did go and win. Uh, they won 6-2 at Hartlepool. But then, in the next game, they lost 2-1 to Dulwich Hamlet. And as a result of that, they're now two points behind us. And if we win, we go five points clear with six games to go. That is monumentally large for us. If we can win that game, um, I don't know who the game's against, but... Honestly, that gives us a really good chance at winning the title. If we can win that game in hand, we'd be five points clear with six games to go. But we do now, because of the game in hand, have a lot of games to play in a, in a short space of time. So we're going to have to rely on the squad depth a little bit. And we've still got players on international duty at the moment. But things are looking very, very good for us at the top with Dulwich and Barnet fighting against each other for now. Oh, my heart. Right. Anyway, enough of that. It's time to talk about Salford again. In fact, they're playing again today. So we're going to have two games in hand here. Dulwich are away at Ebbsfleet and Barnet are not playing today as such. So that's interesting. Right, no need to beat around the bush. We're back straight into where we were. I think Kebby is now finally allowed to play for us again. And Bridges is back as well. Oh, okay. Uh, so that's good. We've got a bit more strength in that position now. Stevenson, Anthony, Magoma, Payne, DiMeo, everyone else though, I'm, I'm confident to keep in the team for now. But I'm worried about injuries late in the season. On the bench, Mahmoudovic, Cape. Cope? Cope. Uh, Banton and Bridges. I'm going to put Banton on the bench again because he, he does deserve it based on the way that he finished that game and he did provide the winner for us. So, you know, we've got to give him credit for that. Uh, I'm going to go after Robson this time because it appears that Begiri Manor has been rested, which is interesting. It's all on the line now. It's all on the line. Can we put an end to the Salford story? Well, well, I mean, the Salford story of this particular season. Team are looking pumped for this game, which is nice. Um, 
a draw. A draw is all we need from this. If we could get ourselves a draw in this match, we're through to the final, where we'll almost certainly play against Billericke, although I think we can keep an eye on that game as well. Let's do this. Yeah, the other game is being played at the same time. All we have to do is avoid defeat here. I mean, maybe we'll go and pull out some fantastic result, but I think it's more likely that we'll probably end up getting a draw here if we were to go through. Sod's Law will get battered by them or something in this game. We've not really been battered by anybody this season. That's what I would say. We've not had a single right, really bad scoreline. I think the biggest defeat of the year has been the 2-0 against Salford and the 2-0 against Fylde, which really says something. Lang is already through here. Cameron John's got the pace to get back, though. Can he square it? He saved again. And on the rebound, cleared. Whoa, it's off to a good start for them. Certainly not been a classic so far, but we've created a few little bits and bobs. Palmer knocks it down. Magoma! Oh, there we go. Cameron John makes it 2-0. And we've started this game very, very strongly. We're 2-0 up now on the night. No, sorry, not on the night. In the tie. Ball in from Duxbury. Knocked down by Ashley Palmer. And it's Cameron John, I think, after Magoma's strike. Gets on the rebound. Puts it in the back of the net. It's 1-0 on the night. 2-0 on aggregate. We've It's ours to throw away now. Duxbury's going. Anthony's through. Oh, chance again. Duxbury's back post ball. Anthony, yes! 2-0 on the stroke of halftime. Jaden Anthony, assisted by Scott Duxbury, were 3-0 up on aggregate now over Salford. They've tailed away towards the end of this season, it would seem. They're still right there on the playoffs, but earlier this year, they were doing even better. Don't know why Anthony doesn't try and score there. Duxbury brings it down, just aims this for the back post. Jaden Anthony, 16th goal of the season from a player that didn't even get in my squad for the first sort of 10, 12 games of the year. Brilliant season he's had. 2-0 up now, and it very much is now ours to throw away. We're going to be in the final unless we do something dramatically awful. Anthony, oh, I thought they were going to pick out Dazza at the back post. It's Lang now. Bit of space. Takes a touch for some reason. Lloyd, going all the way through, and he's offside. Don't know why he didn't just shoot. Well, I mean, that's a very good first half. Cameron John and Jaden Anthony's goals makes it 3-0 on aggregate. We throw this away now and we'd have no one to blame but ourselves. We're looking really, really good. Keeping two clean sheets against Sulphur would be really nice as well to really say that we are good enough for this level. We are good enough to win this league. That's a terrible pass from Jack Payne. Grimshaw into the channel. Seager, the man over is there. He's got to square it. This is surely one... Oh, dear. Maybe Hinchcliffe could have come out and got that. I don't know. It was a great ball across the box. Um, All from the poor ball from Jack Payne. Like, that's Jack Payne's fault that that goal's happened, unfortunately. I thought this ball might have been a little bit too close to Hinchcliffe. He maybe could have come out and closed that down a bit more. It doesn't matter. It's 2-1 on the night and 3-1 on aggregate. Okay, okay. And well won by John. Keep the pressure on. If we grab another goal now, it would hopefully take the wind out of them. Duxbury. Ball in. Anthony! Oh, heads it wide. It could have been another goal. Okay, change is definitely needed. Magoma again is knackered. Uh, bloody hell, I didn't put Moody on the bench. That is idiotic of me. Stevenson... He's not looking interested. He's not played well. We're going to get Banta Banta Banton on just to try him out. Jordan Anthony's been decent. Maybe Bruno Bridges because Kebby's looking complacent as well. Picks it up again. Magoma gets the ball. Oh, what a save from Pears. Should have been 4-1 on aggregate. We are five minutes away from an FA Trophy final at Wembley, which would be incredibly cool um, because at the moment the title is looking very, very good for us currently. Duxbury, can we get one more? Ball in. No. Going to try again. Need a good cross this time, Scott. Ball in. Oh, and it's deflected into the back of the net. That is incredibly unfortunate. Ethan Robson, 4-1 now on aggregate. This is going to be a very, very good win for us away from home at Salford. Maybe they've got their eyes on other prizes, perhaps actually just getting into the playoffs. But then our eyes are firmly set on winning the title and we're still performing well. That is so unfortunate from Robson. I mean, that really is... Five minutes to go. We're gonna we're going to Wembley, boys. And I think that's gonna do it. A 4-1 win was not what I expected from this tie, to be honest. Uh Billericke also won 4-1, so we're gonna meet them. We have beaten them. We actually beat them last season while we were playing in Conference South, uh, Conference North, and I think they're still down there. So a, a game against a team in a lower division in a final, we're gonna have a really good chance at winning a trophy this year, uh, along with the league title, hopefully. I am super impressed with that, but I'm also gonna hit continue to see what the results of the other games were. And Dulwich lost 2-1. And Barnet haven't played. So Dulwich have now played two more games than us and are still four points behind us. We could potentially go 10 points clear if we win both our games in hand over Dulwich. Things are looking very, very good. Orient really dropping down now. Salford are out of it, but, you know, a win puts them straight back in it. We're in a good position. We could potentially be five points clear of Barnet and 10 clear of Dulwich with those games in hand now. We're looking very, very good at the moment. We've still got to get this over the line. That's the key thing. And the final is actually after the final game of the season. So we might bundle those all together and do... Barnet and Ebsfleet, but Ebsfleet off camera and then come back for the final, which I think would be pretty damn cool to have one hell of a final episode of the season because it could be title and a trophy or it could be nothing.
really. And I think it could be down to that, genuinely. But next episode, it's going to be Notts County and Harrogate, a double live con there. We've got some games off camera. I mean, we could technically be champions by... Well, no, no, we couldn't be champions by this point, but we could technically win the title probably in these two videos, uh, in these two games. But I don't know. I think there's going to be some wrenches thrown into the work pretty soon. So if you've enjoyed this and like the fact that we've actually got to a final in our first season in, uh, sorry, second season in this save, drop a like on the video. That'd be superb. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Hopefully when we get to more finals uh, later down the line, we've got the Johnson's Paint Trophy or whatever it's called now. Um, check a trade. That's the one. So maybe we can have a crack at that some point down the line. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.